Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I've been getting asked a lot of questions lately about how can I introduce some water or hydrosols or herbal extracts into my oil formulations. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. But first of all, I want to explain why some of you might be having some issues, and that's because what we're doing here is we're actually reversing how we would make a micellar water or a mist type product where water is the major component. And when we make these types of products, we're using a very large amount of water, we're using a solubilizer, and then we're using a very small input of oil or fragrance. So when you want to put water soluble materials or extracts into oil, you've got to think of everything in the reverse. And when I speak to people about some of their failed samples, I ask them, how much water or extracts are you trying to introduce? And they're usually trying to introduce far too much and the formula just can't handle it. So you need to think of everything in reverse. When you're making a mist or a solubilized water-based product, remember it's majority water, there is some preservative, there's a solubilizer, and then there's a very small oil component. So when we're making the reverse, like in this video, there's a majority oil component, there's a very different type of solubilizing agent used, and I'll talk you through that in just a moment, but there's a very small water soluble component. So just remember those inputs matter. Now you can contact us and get details of the formula I'm putting together today, and then you can make your own version. But let's talk you through now how to put the sample together, and I'll also talk you through some of the method, which is also really important. So now, let me show you how it's done. Okay, so here I've just got really basic materials because you can swap and change and use all sorts of different oils. I'm just using caprylic, capric triglycerides here, and I've got a little bit of vitamin E in there. Uh, you could use plant oils, you could use esters, uh, again, have a little bit of vitamin E with your natural oils. You can have essential oils in here, you can have fragrance in here. This is my oil soluble portion, and as you can see, it's the majority of the formula I'm making today. Now, what I need to do is I have here my extract, so this could be whatever water soluble material you want to use. I'm just using a extract in glycerin here. It's a water soluble material, but what you'll notice straight away is I'm not using much. So again, if you know how to make your mist formulas where they're majority water, you'd know that when you're adding oil, you're also adding a very small amount of oil to water. So in this case, I'm adding a very small amount of water soluble material to my oil. But before I can do that, I do need to solubilize it in a very special type of solubilizer for this type of formula. This needs to be a low HLB value liquid material. I'm using Arlacel 1689. This is what the material looks like here. You can get Arlacel 1689 and Arlacel 1690 from a lot of your small suppliers, or you can get it from Crota Direct. This is a fantastic low HLB material. As you'll see, it's liquid. This is also really, really important. If you wanted to use a different low HLB material, it must be liquid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to solubilize my water soluble component, my extract, into this solubilizer, the low HLB solubilizing material first. Now this is really important because what I'm doing at this stage is the water soluble material is being held inside what we call little micelles and the Arlacel 1689, or if you can source Arlacel 1690, is forming this stable micelle around it. Now the Arlacel material, the low HLB solubilizing material, prefers the oil phase, but it will trap a little bit of the water phase inside. So it's really important that you mix this part first so that all of that extract can be solubilized within the low HLB material. And then I can add this slowly and in small increments to my oil phase. Now it's very important you add this slowly and in small increments to the oil phase. And you'll see me do it that way. And I need to make sure that this goes completely clear again after each addition to make sure it will be stable. And 
there we go, that's how you make it. So what I have here is some examples you can see they're totally transparent and that water soluble phase is completely solubilized and stable inside of my oil phase. Remember you're trying to stabilize two totally incompatible substances. So when you want to create a clear solution where you have the internal phase solubilized so that you can see through it, that internal phase needs to be a really small amount. Like I've shown you here and like you're probably used to doing when you make a mist and use a tiny amount of oil. Everything we've done here is the same, it's just reversed. So now we have the larger oil phase, we have the oil compatible solubilizing agent and we have a small input of the water soluble material. I don't need a preservative in this formula and I need the antioxidant purely if I'm using plant oils or essential oils to help stabilize it from oxidation. And of course pH is not relevant, there's not enough water in this formula to be able to measure it. Well I hope that's helped you understand how to solubilize water in oil based formulas. Now it's over to you to get creating. With the basic formula I've provided here there's all sorts of creativity you can add and now you know how to get those water based extracts into your oil formulas. Happy formulating!